Junction City today, fans. I am your host, Craig Bealey, just like the words say right there. And <laughs> lucky you, you have joined us for a great show today because I've got Johanna Jorgensen with me, right? I got yes, that right. Yes, I got it. You and I were practicing your name before yes, we came we were, on. And I was and practicing yours, Craig. Right. Yes. Right. You called me Brian, I think, once. Didn't yes, you? I did. I did. I kind of like Brian. Can we change my name to Brian, please? <laughs> At least on the screen. You didn't tune in to hear about Craig's name change. You tuned in to find out about Freedom Hikers. And lucky you, because we've got the expert with us today. The, again, Johanna, Freedom Hikers. First off, where are you from? How did you end up in this area? I am from Ogden. Well, oh, okay. actually, I'm from Roy. And You're I just went... saying that for the prestige, aren't you? No, you want, I did. Yes, you are. Did. You want to You want it to sound like a big deal. I'm from Ogden. I'm from Roy, and <laughs> okay. I moved to Ogden as an adult, which I consider it all to be the same community. So Pretty much. I'm really excited yeah. to be here and just want to thank you for having me. Well, we're excited to find out about Freedom Hikers because you and I met a few weeks ago, and you started telling me about it, and I was like, this is really cool. You have to to share this <laughs> message and that's one of the reasons we brought you on here today start start it you know what start at the start what is freedom hikers so freedom hikers is just a community of individuals that use their passion for hiking to raise funds and awareness for rescue freedom a nonprofit that is fighting human trafficking um, and sex slavery around the world Really? Yeah. So I, I think if the, one of the first questions people are going to ask, besides what is Freedom Hikers, but we'll talk about that in a second, is sex trafficking really a problem, or is that just something for the big cities that we don't have to worry about? No, it's. It, they say that it's in every community, every social economic class, every almost every country, and every um, people think it's a racial thing, but no, it exists. It's a worldwide problem. And I don't know if you guys know, but January is Human Trafficking Awareness Month. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Hey, how so, fortuitous. I know. I, I can use big words. <laughs> how fortuitous to have you on our show in January. Then. Yeah, it is. It's a, it's a big problem. And uh, you may have heard it in the news. And just I know recently in Orem, I think it was, there was a raid, a uh, human trafficking raid down there. So we think it's uh, a third world country problem, but it's everywhere. It's here. It's, yes. it's right across the street somewhere Yes. from you. Why did you get involved with this? I stumbled across uh, Freedom Hikers on social media, believe it or not, uh, about a year and a half ago. And I was uh, just, it, something caught my eye and I was intrigued and I love the outdoors, I love hiking. And uh, I just started following them and watching what they were doing and it just really inspired me. Uh, they start in the Pacific Northwest in Washington State and last year was the first year that they came to Utah. Okay. They hosted a hike in, in Provo actually at Timpanogos. Right. And I participated as a hiker, and uh, it was just an amazing experience. And I decided I wanted to do more. Right. So if I understand the concept, the basic concept, right, is people who hike and raise money to go to this charity. How do you raise money hiking? Uh, it's kind of like the March of Dimes, right? You're just oh, yeah, out. the old walk-a-thon yeah, thing. So yeah, so it's kind of like yeah. we're out hiking. We're sharing our stories and inviting friends and family to donate and sponsor a hiker. Okay. So that's one of the things that you can do. Um, and we also are looking for business sponsors that are wanting to um, donate to the cause. Okay, so at the grassroots level, I join, I say, I want to do a hike. And you guys have a hike laid out for mm -hmm. one, which you've got one coming up, and we're going to plug that in a second, yeah. right? But let's say that I'm hiking to the top of this mountain right behind us. Isn't our studio nice, by the way? <laughs> uh, and I'm going to go to the top of Ben Lomond, and I tell my friends that, and I say, I'm raising money. Will you pay me? dollar a mile or something like that. Is that exactly, how it works? exactly. Yeah. And a lot of times they'll do it their training hikes. They'll post on social media or just tell their friends, hey, I'm training for this hike. This is why I'm doing it. Would you, you know, like to to donate? And it doesn't have to be a lot. We did a Giving Tuesday campaign where I was personally inviting all of my friends and family to donate ten dollars. Mm -hmm. And my goal was to find two hundred people that would each donate just ten dollars. And the purpose of that was all of us together can make a difference. Um, most of us, you know, not everybody can support it financially, but most of us can give just a little bit. And if nothing else, you can give your time and just share the message with others if you're not able right. to participate. So ten dollars is not a lot. I mean, exactly. come on, that's, come on, that's a pair of socks, basically, <laughs> exactly. at Target and, or yeah. something like that. But that money goes to helping people and for a good cause. Is it fun to do these hikes? Oh yeah, you guys it's have a, lot a good of fun. time. Yeah. In fact, the hike uh, last year, we actually had the majority of the hikers that participated were from out of state. And that was actually really? one of the things that motivated me to, to um, get out in the community here because we have such an amazing community, especially people who love the outdoors. But yeah, of the uh, 15 to 20 hikers that came to Timpanogos last year, I think we had three or four from Utah. 
Wow. So they travel from everywhere. We had a large group that came from Florida, um, wow. the Midwest, uh, Pacific Northwest, obviously, because that's where they yeah. have a real strong following. But yeah, they come from all over and it's kind of like a big event and they raise money. But you would love to get the local people involved. Yes, that's my goal. And that's, <laughs> that's your why, goal. That's yeah, why you're that's here. Exactly why all right, here. let's get right to it. First off, what is your website? We're going to drop it on the screen right now. So you can go to utahfreedomhikers.com to learn more about the freedom hikers here in this area. This is what we're trying to get the movement going here. And um, I'm not sure if he has it, but if you want to learn more about Rescue Freedom, you can actually go to their their website. That's the nonprofit that we support. And all of the funds that we raise go directly to Rescue Freedom. So okay. we don't collect funds ourselves. Right. Uh, when you donate to the Utah Freedom Hike, you're going to donate directly to uh, Rescue Freedom's uh, website and through their secure portal. So, and that's a good thing too, because a lot of people say, how do I know where the money's going? And exactly. you know, are you gonna buy pizza for people and all that other kind of stuff? But this, you guys just cut, you're, you cut yourselves out, the middleman. Yeah, you're just exactly, right to that exactly. It goes directly to them and it's all tax refundable. Wow. And if businesses are interested in getting involved and become a business sponsor, we have some business sponsorship offers. And same thing, it all goes directly to Rescue Freedom and um, is 100% tax deductible. Fun, fun. Okay, so when is the next hike? We were, we were teasing at the beginning of this episode, but so, now yeah. we gotta talk about the next hike. So the main hike we are doing is Ben Lomond Peak. Um, yeah. yeah, being from Ogden, that's actually one of yeah. the requirements when I said, you know, I would love to bring this to Ogden, but we gotta hike Ben Lomond. Yeah. And um, so it's coming August. The event is a, a weekend event, so it's a Saturday, Sunday, so it's August 8th and 9th. Oh, are you camping out in between, like going up and camping and then coming back? Or no, actually, we because a lot of people are coming from out of state, yeah. we, we, we do like a two-day event to make it more... Well, two hikes. Yeah, more eventful. Okay, but great. And we actually had a donor who donated their lodging. Uh, an individual donated a house in Huntsville that the hikers from out of state are going to be staying at. Really? Yeah, so it's really exciting. So they're coming. But for all the locals, if you're interested in participating, uh, you can check out the website. Mm -hmm. And we have, um, like I said, the hike itself will be on Sunday, August the 9th. Wow, how fun. How long of a hike is that? I want to join. How long of a hike is it? Uh, I think they say it's like to the summit, which is definitely where we're going. Uh -huh. uh, 16 and... Point four miles, or miles, something like that. Yeah, sixteen miles. Okay, well, maybe I'll join next time. <laughs> <laughs> so that that actually no, that is, sounds really fun. That's actually a good thing I did want to mention. Yeah. So that's our main event where we are raising funds. Like all year long, we're going to be raising funds for that. But one of my goals for the local community here is just to get more people involved. Mm -hmm. So I started an Ogden Freedom Hiker Club. Okay. And we are going to be doing monthly hikes, and this is just open for the community to come. Oh, this sounds so fun. And those hikes are going to be uh, more family friendly. So we're going to try to shoot for three to six miles. Okay. So if you are interested yeah. and you're not interested in the main event, if you just want to come out, get to know us, Join us on a hike, learn a little bit about Rescue Freedom. Uh, the information's on the website. That sounds wonderful. There's the website one more time, okay, <laughs> utahfreedomhikers.com. What you need to know is that you'll be raising money for a good cause, getting out, doing yourself some good, because there's nothing better than getting out in nature and, you know, feeling it and breathing that air and moving those legs and yes, all that kind exactly. of stuff. And yeah. uh, what, like, what's not to like about this, right? I, I love it. <laughs> well, one more thing I did want to mention really bet. quick, if there's a minute. Um, of course there is. One of the things I've really been emphasizing with people is whether Freedom Hikers is for you or not. Um, I'm a big believer on getting out and getting involved. So I just want to encourage everyone, you know, whether you're going to participate in Freedom Hikers or something else, there's tons of opportunities in our community to get involved in social issues or um, organizations that you're passionate about. So whether it's human trafficking or poverty or... Um, youth programs. There are so many great organizations in this community I've been making networking connections with and I've been blown away. So I just want to encourage everyone as individuals to get out and find something they're passionate about because when you volunteer your time and you get involved in these types of things, uh, everyone benefits. That's so cool. You should do this for a living. You should make <laughs> you should make a pitch for people to volunteer or get networking. Well, can I get paid to do that? Uh, I'm sure, <laughs> sure. I, I I wish I could, <laughs> but you could. You're you know you look much better on camera than oh, I do. I don't know about but that. But I wish you guys could feel it. She is actually buzzing right here. Yeah, in this I chair. get kind I mean, of excited. She's got excitement it's my super on power. that. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, well, thank, thank you, you so for much. having me. I really appreciate oh, it. Oh no, it's great. This is a great cause. This is really good information. Again, folks, there's the website. 
right here. Help these guys out. Help them in human trafficking. And do yourself a little good, too, by getting out and enjoying a hike. And as usual, I am your host, Craig Bielek. You've been watching Junction City today, and we will see you next time. We're going to have Johanna back, okay? I, We're going to have her back. In fact, there. I think what we should do is go out to one of the hikes yes. and kind of film that. I'm going to hold you accountable to that. Really? You just said it now for everyone to hear. Delete that part. <laughs> <laughs> no, folks, thanks for watching. We'll Thank see you, you again.